Hello, this is Darren DePaul, the voice of Emperor Valkorion, and you're watching another video by Valk. Greetings from Bulgaria. I'm Volk, with a webcam this time for a change. Yesterday, Bioware released the uh, information about patch 5.6 in Star Wars The Old Republic regarding the class utility changes. Some of those are actually regarding the utilities, the right side of the discipline panel, others are passive. In this video, I'm going to take a deeper and more detailed look and explain to you what my favorite class change is about, and this is the Carnage Marauder and Combat Sentinel. I have, of course, absolutely all of the changes listed here in this article, link will be in the video description. We're going to scroll all the way down to the Sentinel because I'm going to show you in-game as well and explain some things. First, let's read what exactly has been changed to the Sentinel. Precision is now stack-based with two stacks lasting for 10 seconds. The whole cooldown of Precision with proper gearing up is just about 10 seconds, so that's exactly the duration between Precision windows. Affects Clashing Blast, Lance, Dispatch, and Blade Rush. Only these abilities will be spending one stack when they're used, and they will be consuming the stack, of course. The developer note. We noticed, we, that's Bioware, a disparity between damage output on the combat discipline from players that could uh, successfully clip a dispatch in a precision window and those who couldn't due to factors outside of their control like server latency. It's not just about skill, as you probably very well know, it's about the lag and the distance between you and the server you play on. Clipping leads to being able to use three ability affected by precision during the original three second window instead of two abilities. To remedy this, we changed precision to be stack based with two stacks lasting 10 seconds. Additionally, precision now only affects certain abilities, making it possible for players to use a less optimal ability during the window without sacrificing a stack of precision. Although this looks like a DPS loss, Combat's target DPS has always been calculated without clipping in mind, so this change should effectively normalize Combat's DPS to our target. If you remember, in the last patch, Bioware nerfed slightly, the patch before that actually, the Combat and Carnage discipline, along with many other disciplines, but this video is dedicated to, uh, to the Combat and Carnage. And uh, that nerf was uh, in a perfect pass in the range of maybe 200, 250, to some extent, probably even 300. The DPS loss was even less noticeable in real uh, combat environment, in real boss environment, in operations or flashpoints, and in PvP as well. It's all about the uh, clipping and the ability of the player to include that extra third uh, attack under the precision. What is that? If you've seen my guide, which currently is updated for the last change, change uh, 5.4, it will be fully updated and reflecting all of the changes as soon as 5.6 goes live. But for the purposes of demonstrating, let me scroll down and go to the single target ability priorities. As you can see here, precision is on the top, which means it should be used every single time it's out of cooldown. The basic cooldown, again, with proper gearing and decent alacrity, is just about 10 seconds, maybe 10.3 or something like that. Every time you use precision with the new changes in mind, you will be able to have 10 seconds to spend those hard-hitting abilities uh, mentioned in the previous post, which are, again, because I forgot them already, Flashing Blast, Lance, Dispatch, and Blade Rush. Now remember that these are the abilities that will be spending the stacks. Any other abilities you use will not be affected by the precision buff. And the precision buff remains exactly the same as before. It, let me switch actually to in-game and show you the current state of precision. Precision increases armor penetration by 100% for 3 seconds and it requires 2 lightsabers. Now the ability that won't be included in the 2 stack spending rule are... Blade Barrage and uh, Twin Saber Throw, as well as, of course, Strike and Slash. This results in a slight nerf because you won't be able to clip, as mentioned previously. If you don't know what clipping is, further below on the third page of the same guide that I've been using, I do have 
if you watch this video and if you check the guide before the changes go live, this will be available there and you'll be able to learn what clipping is. Basically, the clipping is uh, benefiting the delay between your attack, the server reaction and the overall result of all of these things, which means that if you use quickly Twin Saber Throw in the first example on the left and uh, Dispatch on the second example on the right, depending whether you're doing AOE combination or single target priority, Immediately after that, you hit precision and the attack from Twin Saber Throw and from Dispatch and from other abilities, as a matter of fact, will actually go under the effect of precision. This is what Bioware and everybody else refers as to clipping, including that third attack without having to spend any extra time. This is really hard in a normal combat environment. It's quite easy to do with relatively low latency on um, the parsing dummy, any latency above probably 100, maybe 150 will present you with the challenge of doing that. <laughs> if you're located in Australia, you can absolutely never do that. I'm sorry to say it. So I hope this makes it more clear. It changes absolutely nothing in the ability priorities. Instead, it actually benefits the more casual players because there is no pressure to use your hard hitting abilities immediately as you hit precision because now you have a whole 10 seconds to do that while the duration lasts. Yes, of course, carnage in combat is still about um, bursty moments. So the priority, that's, that's why I, uh, I'm saying that the priority remains exactly the same because you want to have those burst moments. That's what the discipline is known for and that's what it's mostly used and recognized for the burst DPS, which comes with quick hits. So even though precision lasts for 10 seconds, you will want to use your hardest hitting abilities that spend those stacks immediately or as quick as possible. I hope you find this video useful. Of course, if you have any other questions, feel free to post them on Vogue.com in the appropriate articles or here in the comment section under the video. I'll be glad to give you any points, advice and suggestions, or maybe if you have any other tips and ideas, if you would like to improve the opener, the ability priorities or anything else, let me know. Maybe I've missed something. Of course, this is all a suggestion at the time of recording the video. And um, when it goes live, I will be able to do a lot more testing and maybe Bioware could tweak some other things because this change is supposed to go, if I'm not mistaken, what was it, 18 or 28 of November, basically in more than three or four weeks at the time of recording this video. So there is plenty of time for Bauer or we as the community to ask for a change and receive it. That's why they're announcing these planned changes. They're not set in stone. Anyway, if you like the video, please remember to throw in the thumbs up, like button, smash it, break it so it doesn't work for the next video. <laughs> And uh, thank you very much for that. If you haven't subscribed, obviously you can use that. And um, don't forget to turn on the bell icon and receive notifications from YouTube every time I upload a new video. See you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. 